what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have a better idea not potentially a better idea but a potential month now of when we can expect jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn to be released in the u.s i know in my last video that i did i was talking about all these different release dates that i've seen on the imdp page which are not official of course uh this release date that i'm gonna go over here not even a date but a month isn't coming from screen media or anyone particularly involved with the production to the best of my knowledge this is a listing on the horror hound magazine website so I've tried to reach out to them to gain some clarity on this to see if it's actually factual to understand if they have reached out to those involved with the production or screen media themselves to actually have some credibility for why they would list such a thing on their website or if this list is just purely them speculating. So take this with a grain of salt. No word on if this is confirmation confirmed or if it's just them speculating on their behalf but they do have the actual listings on their website for upcoming horror films including Halloween Kills. Don't Breathe to Antlers with their actual release dates, but they're missing films like Candyman, someone pointed out to me. So if you look here at this list and look right underneath the, the listing for Halloween Kills, you'll see an October to be announced 2021 release uh, slot for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. No date attached to it, nothing like that. So of course, we're gonna have to wait and see what the official release date is. But if this is the month, then that's the other thing that is not confirmed because I don't know where they got this information from. I don't know how credible they are. I don't know if they reached out to someone in the production. I don't know if maybe they are involved with the production given that there is a convention in the film titled after this magazine or titled because there's several different things that I've heard of before this film, Horror Hound Festival. I've heard of like Horror Hound Magazine already alone. There's a few different Horror Hound uh, mashups I've heard of going around so I don't know maybe they had something to do with the production I doubt it so I've reached out to them to understand if this is true or if they had something to do with contacting screen media themselves if it came out in October this of course would make the first Jeepers Creepers film to be released in the month of October Jeepers Creepers 3 was not released in October despite what um, I had originally thought I could have swore I saw that movie in October but I saw it the first time it came out. What had happened with Jeepers Creepers 3 was that it did so good on its one night only showing, making over a million dollars when it was released in September in 2017, it ended up getting another one night showing in October. That's what happened there. But the movie itself was not originally released in October of 2017. It was released in September of 2017 to a very um, horrendous theatrical experience for myself and certainly many of you if you're listening to this and you watch that film in theaters quite the embarrassment to watch that movie in theaters it was just a complete waste of time such as such a significant letdown compared to what came before it but hopefully jeepers creepers reborn bounces back and with this theatrical release potential chance of jeepers creepers 4 that because that's always a chance i just don't think this movie will go to theaters i don't think jeepers creepers 4 is going to theaters i think this will go straight to vod i think if it goes to theaters it'll have a similar run to a jeepers creepers 3 where it's in limited theaters maybe even a one night showing maybe just in theaters for a whole week and then it's pulled or maybe they do take the risk and they take on a full-fledged campaign for this project and they clear up any negativity that might come with it because i stated in my last video i don't see screen media trying to push out there and go over the go over the stars into the go around the earth go around the sun and back for a new jeepers creepers film i don't see them pushing this to the high heavens because of the reputation that it has given who has worked on the last three films since its inception back in 2001 victor salva or since its release in 2001 uh but since he apparently no longer owns the rights that's not going to be of concern to those who just want to react off of pure emotion some people honestly they, they 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 thrive off of it they don't they don't care about the facts involved they don't they don't want to hear what you think about the matter they're just going to have their emotions and they're going to go off of their emotions and i think screen media is just not they're going to try to avoid that in the best way they can so i don't see them pulling pulling a full-fledged campaign for this film i don't see it because then that would open the window for them to have to talk about victor salva selling the rights and how that was done and that's just stuff that they probably don't want to talk about because any mention of of that name would just bring negativity it doesn't matter if you explain it or not somebody will find something to complain about so better to just not put too much uh 
confidence in them pulling a full-fledged campaign and just hope hoping that they do something decent because like i said at this stage they're not doing that great of a job this youtube channel for the film is unique and it's being squandered that's my honest opinion on it it's being squandered the releasing of interviews not even interviews the releasing of an interview that's in one to two minute intervals of the same interview with timo the new director it's it's baffling why are you doing that i get that it's of course very good to know that people came out on the other side with no COVID issues but give us something of substantial value at this point who is in this film what is the narrative even though i know i've basically dissected all of that on my channel at this point they need to come out and conf confirm certain things and certain aspects of the film if there is a new creeper i am intrigued to know who it is what does the creeper look like now other than what we have seen behind timo in this interview i want to see the full-fledged monster i want to see if jonathan break is back i want to see if it's not jonathan break what is this person that is filling the shoes now going to bring to the table i want to see sydney craven talk about the film because sydney craven i can tell you this she does have an interview just like timo that i'm hoping they'll release on that youtube channel at some point where we'll get to hear her talk about this character lane that we know she's going to play in the film as the lead actress we know lane will be having premonitions just like minxie and just like giselle in the first film so i'm hoping they start hyping this film up in some capacity to at least get it prepared for whatever limited release it has in theaters or whatever release it gets when it goes straight to vod now the other thing i want to talk about was an october release isn't that far-fetched it's just again nothing no, no i haven't gotten any type of confirmation from them that they know for a fact it's the month is october that's what i'm waiting to hear from them it would also add some more uh believability to that russia release date which is apparently russia is supposed to get it like in november 11th which again like i mentioned russia tends to get movies almost a month after the u.s on on occasions not to say that that's always the case but if october is the month that's exciting but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below would you prefer to see it earlier i know i would of course but if october is the month that's fine if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video